Lucas Media. Shout out to the ones who support me, the ones who hate me. And my bad, y'all. I couldn't make as many videos last week as I was coming down from COVID. I actually still have symptoms, but that's a whole other story. But anyway, so JJ Reddick and LeBron James has this podcast. And they're having these deep uh, conversations as two people who say they are basketball savants are talking about running plays. And then, of course, everybody knows Darvin Ham got fired. Another coach got fired with, for LeBron, with LeBron. And now rumors it has it that J.J. Reddick may be the coach. Also, J.J. Reddick's never coached the NBA or college or anything like that. But, again, you know, he be rolling with LeBron, so that's the rumor. Honestly, if he were to get hired, I wouldn't be surprised. This would just let you know how wild the NBA is. How much power LeBron has. And again, I'm a LeBron fan, but come on now. This man ain't got every single coach fired. And you hear people make excuses every time. Oh, it's the coach, it's the coach. When you get that many coaches fired, at some point, you got to look at yourself. The thing when it comes to with LeBron and JJ is like, okay, y'all do this podcast and be talking about basketball. But don't let it be to where y'all are low key. LeBron, you interviewing him for the next Laker position. And I really feel bad for the diehard Lakers fans because y'all team is pretty much at LeBron's mercy. And it just it, it doesn't make any sense to me. Why would he be a consideration? Now, do I think the Lakers going to hire him? No, I don't think that. But would I be surprised if they did? No, I wouldn't. And I don't know what's going on. I, I knew Darby was going to get fired when LeBron threw that temper tantrum over calling the play. And it's just like, I mean, you see it every time, you know. It, even though they didn't mention the playoffs twice. It went to the East, the Western Conference Finals last year. That's enough to get fired. And I mean, you see that even with Milwaukee coach go thir- thirty and thirteen and get fired. Uh, the Phoenix has the Suns coaching. I forget his, uh, uh, his name off the top of my head, but he used to coach with the Lakers. He got fired after one season. It's like the the because these players are getting so much money and so baby. That when they don't, when something don't work out, the blame now goes 100% on the coach. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Who knows who the Lakers are going to hire? Seeing rumors it was J- Jason Kidd, but he signed that extension. I wouldn't be surprised if coaches want to stay away until LeBron leave. It's, just, it's too much. And again, I see what the athletes were saying. It's, it, I'm sure LeBron's a likable guy. I'm sure he, you know. He has one of the greatest worth ethics of all time, but that baggage that come with him to where it's literally never his fault. I finally started seeing analysts like Michael Wilbon and Kendrick Perkins just go nuclear on LeBron last week because it's like, we here we going in again. It's like, it's never his fault. It's Darvin Ham's fault for them, getting beaten, for them to get beaten in the playoffs the way they did. I mean, whatever, man. I we gonna, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Genie Bus, but you can't let LeBron run your team. I'm sorry, y'all the Lakers. Y'all gonna be good regardless. Y'all got a fan base regardless. But at this point, y'all honestly, and I'm talking about the staff, they don't care about winning. The Lakers not winning nothing else. And it's time that ESPN and FS1 and move on. Put your focus on Anthony Edwards and all this young talent in the NBA. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.